Here we are, we've got the Open Builds control software loaded. It comes free, um, no license fee. I can tell you so far, with this black box setup, I'm very impressed. If you notice in here, all I've got is my VFD, the black box, and my power supply. No more stepper drivers, no notice and controller. The black box does it all. Uh, hooked up is super simple. Got these cables for my stepper motors and a couple limit switches into the back there. Power supply on this side, uh, USB port, and uh, this wire that goes to the VFD. The VFD hookup for my spindle is super simple. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to run a jumper, if you can see there. I'm going to jumper from the DCM to the forward port. Then you want to run your ACM wire and a that's the VI wire down there. You run those back to the black box and the ACM wire, I can't really put the camera in there and show you. Let me take my word for it though. The ACM wire hooks up to the um, the ground. The ground is the first port and the four port plug and the uh, VI wire goes to the fourth port and the four port plug. Uh, super simple hookup. As you can see here, the spindle runs no problem. Uh, Let's see, give it a command. Fire it up. Fires up. We can also toggle the uh, spindle speed from right here. You can hear it, hear it speed up there. This is your command line. All your G cut goes in there. You've got your zeroing right here. And do your jog, continuous jog, just make sure and toggle this and you got your continuous jog right here. Go to Gerbil settings. By the way, this black box is built on a Gerbil platform. Now one big thing about this versus the Mach 3 and Novison, uh, you probably won't have the inherent problems that you get with the Mach 3 PC based uh, software and controller. Uh, as far as losing steps, the uh, interpreting is all done on the hardware, on the black box. So that's what you want. That's a better setup. The software just sends the G code. Let me run this a little bit so you can get an idea. Uh, the, uh, the, my Z axis uh, is a ball screw open build set up with their standard ball screw. Uh, you can see there. That was uh, easy to set up because the Gerbil settings have calculators pre-built so I was able to use that for the belt drive axis and then the um, ball screw axis okay as far as my rack and pinion setup uh, I had to come over here to the wizard tools the wizard end tools rather you go in here and calibrate and it's kind of like the feature that you have in Mach 3 you measure what the machine puts out versus uh, what it's supposed to put out and um, it's got a smart algorithm there I guess that, that calculates for you. Uh, for a three axis machine this is the way to go I think. Alright, hope that helps.